ski jump. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know he did. He did that, that Olympic <laughs> jump right there. Oh my they God. blasted him out of a cannon. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I didn't see it. Oh, you, you didn't know the song? Yeah, man, he what? Hey, man, watch so he, this. So he can get hang time? Yeah, what? hey, watch this shit. Man, it would have been so funny if he just flew right past Mr. Freeze and out another window. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Why are you blind? <laughs> well, I guess back to work, guys. <laughs> he keeps crashing through windows yeah. coming in. <laughs> hey, everyone, do you enjoy Double Toasted? Then put it on your body. Check out our tpublic.com merch store where you'll find all these wonderful designs that look great on high quality t-shirts with more designs coming soon. Or check out other high quality items such as mugs, pillows, tote bags, and more. Once again, that is tpublic.com, T-E-E public.com. Or click the link in the description below. As we said when the show started, about to get this roasted bat up here, man. That's right. About to roast this Batman right here. See, that, and Martin was like, oh, we're about to catch COVID. No, see, they didn't cook it right the first time. This, we're going to go ahead and slow roast this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let it marinate. Put it on that spit, <laughs> marinate it, cook it up. You know, make it well done over yeah, here. That's good bat right there. Don't, none, don't, don't none deserve a roasting like what we about to see right here. <laughs> but before I, before I go in... With that, let's just let's just do a little little history right here. So please, yes. So uh, after Batman Returns, you know that's the one with that's a sequel to Batman from Tim Burton. That's the one with the penguin up in there. Uh, after that movie scared the shit out of parents because that little nasty ass horny ass penguin that they had in there, what was who it? was who was anything but family friendly. Model a young person could have. Get it on that. Uh, All on that titty, yeah, man. Yeah, no, <laughs> she, she, she's just like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Mr. Penguin. Yeah, I'm surprised she went like, ow. Yeah, yeah. ow. <laughs> I love how he, he gets the idea. Oh, yeah. wear a button. Yeah. I can grab me some titty. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, in on that titty. I'm surprised that titty didn't go like, <laughs> You know, all up on that, all up on that girl's titty, all man. All up on the titty, in front of everybody. Oh, in front of everybody. While the other girl's in line waiting for her titty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got titties, too. Yeah. Now, you see that scene right there, and you... Nasty scene. Nasty, your nasty, horny little ass. <laughs> you can't be grabbing and be up all in some girl's titty and then go off to expect to sell Happy Meal toys. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, like he, look like he riding a titty right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And that's when Warner Brothers came in and said, God damn it, enough. They said, you know what? Tim, as in Tim Burton, they said, Tim, you know, hey, man, thank you. Thank you for bringing Batman back. Thank you for making Batman successful. But you are freaking out these kids, man. (laughs) And when kids and parents freak out, they don't spend money. They don't buy shit. Spend more money. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, they don't spend more money. I'm sorry. They don't spend that. They, they don't buy toys. Right. They don't buy lunch boxes. They don't buy bed sheets. Because every time you go to bed on that <laughs> Batman return sheet, you your kid is thinking about how the penguin molested this girl's titties right here, or scared the shadow of them by buying somebody biting somebody's nose off. So it was a very freaky ass movie, man. So they told him, they told Tim Burton, they said, hey, man, it's, it's, it's been real, man. It's been good. And we, hey, thank you for your service, but your little freak ass got to go. They said it, but they, you know, and they had it. But we, we've been there. We've done that. People do not want a dark Batman anymore, is what they said after Batman Returns came out. <laughs> they said that they want, they want fun. They want color. They want lights. They want costumes. You know, they want to take it back to the day when Batman, and I showed this the other day when we were talking about Batman, but they want to take it back to the day when Batman was cool. He was laid back. He knew how to party and have fun. Yeah, you know, you, yeah, yeah, you know. 
<laughs> he feel whatever he, he got. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, somebody <laughs> dosed his ass. <laughs> <laughs> he feeling his own costume. Yeah, he don't even see that yeah, chick there. Yeah. yeah. Oh. yeah he don't know she's there. Oh, I love everybody in this yeah. room. <laughs> Speaking of which, I love that clip because she is dancing her ass off yes. in that clip. Oh, she with Batman. She, she trying to make an impression. <laughs> She said, I'm gonna, she said, I'm gonna get that bat dick. <laughs> look at her, she go. Look at her, yeah, yeah. boy. She, she put them titties out there. Boy, yeah. she showed them. I mean, she is into that move. Like, she choreographed yeah. that shit herself. She's, I'm sorry, Greg. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she just always sticks out to me. Yeah, Batman coming home with me tonight. <laughs> yeah, goddamn. She's the one that drugged his ass. ass. <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> he's he's out there think, thinking he's doing something like, yeah. 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 She's the one that's drugged. She drugged his ass. Can yeah. you feel it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love the bartender like oh shit she got a yeah, 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 I know, I know that look. every weekend. <laughs> I know that look. When, when she drug me like this sometimes. <laughs> She's like I just gotta stay right next to him. Yeah. Make sure nobody snatches him up. <laughs> they wanted pageantry. And that's when Warner Brothers picked up the phone and said find me the gayest director that's out there right now. <laughs> And if you can't tell by this, right, exactly. by this Jew and this open exactly, shirt, right yeah, yeah. you don't know, you don't know what's going you don't, on. Clearly, you don't, you, your gaydar is 100% yeah. off. That's when they got Joel Schumacher up in there who said, I got you. And by the way, that's not me doing some. No, that's really. And that's not me doing some offensive. That's not me doing some offensive gay voice. That is exactly how he talked. Mm. He, when they picked up the phone and talked to this man, he said, Yes. They said, Oh, this is our man right here. And they brought him in to, that's when they brought him in to actually add some fun to Batman. I can almost hear the conversation. You know, you're gay. You like to have a good time. He said, like, what do you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? <laughs> you know, they, this is uh, when we got uh, a movie that was definitely lighter in tone. That was, uh, you know, and they did it with the costumes that they asked for. The lights were brighter, the costumes were louder, the pageantry was more fabulous, and also they even brought the fun right down to the people that they cast in Batman Forever, if you remember that one. Now you've devised a way to read men's minds. By the way, I've seen your mind, freak. <laughs> <laughs> people, so you had you had Jim Carrey in this, you had big names like Tommy Lee Jones, who was actually trying to be Jim Carrey in the movie. Oh, my movie. God, man. Yeah, he was, he was, he was so trying to be like pissed. Jack Nicholson or something. He was trying like, to be like Jack Nicholson. Yeah, and he was trying to upstage Jim Carrey. You, you can know, tell he wanted he, to kill that motherfucker. Yeah. old movie. <laughs> and I'm sorry, you just ain't going to outmatch Jim Carrey. You're not going to upstage Jim Carrey. And with that casting right there, the movie was a hit, man. It, it was more fun. It was lighter. It was more colorful. And it was a huge hit. Soundtrack was crazy. It's successful. You know, it's oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, it was. Kiss it was. Rose, all it that. was. Yeah, exactly, yeah. man. They got you two on the soundtrack. Song. Yeah, it was. Oh, that's right. The movie was huge, man. So they said, you know what? Well, obviously we did something right here. Obviously we we hit the mark, and that's when, and, and without hesitation, they told Joel Schumacher. They said, you know what? We ain't got no script. We ain't got no producer. We ain't got nothing. But we got you. And without hesitation, before they even had anything for the next Batman movie, they hired this man to do the sequel. Well, even more so than that, Tim Burton was still a producer on Batman Forever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And with, with yeah, at that point, they must have said like, "Okay, we got it. We don't we don't need you at all." We don't need uh, you. Our boy Joel, he's he's got this all oh, by yeah. himself. Yeah, Tim Burton. They they gave him like res that was respect, putting his name down as producer. All right, you kicked this whole thing off, but your darkness is not required here anymore. And with he's like, all right. and, okay. and with that, <laughs> they hired this man without hesitation, and that's when. Joel Schumacher was brought on to direct this movie here, Batman and Robin, which immediately made history as one of the worst superhero movies of all time, 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 time. Maybe. And the only man who can stop them. Hi, Freeze. 
I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. The whole movie's like, yeah. Yeah. Bob will be in Batman. I mean, wait, he's like, freeze. all right, I'm Batman. He's even doing that with the suit on. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's hard to move the neck. Yeah, he found a way. Yeah, he but he away. found a way. <laughs> <laughs> that's not even rubber that's plastic but he still bit that yeah hey freeze I remember that man you still <laughs> freeze do it alone it's a hockey team from hell oh no this movie's from hell <laughs> he's just like man shut the f- up <laughs> fight damn man leave that leave the comment up man. to me shit it's from hell. Okay. God damn. Can you you youngsters always got to yeah, do yeah, something. Shit. <laughs> you know, <laughs> this is annoying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why don't you shut the fuck up and yeah, do something? Yeah, for real, man. Yeah. I didn't bring you over here to make jokes. Yeah. I brought you over here. Like, then no, what? Just go. Yeah, for take your ass off. Yeah, just take your ass off. Don't worry about it. Just, I got it. Don't worry about this shit. Yeah. Yeah. I had only time to say something at the wrong time. Yeah. You know, this had this had bigger stars too, man. So big that, and I, they probably did this with, uh, they probably did this with the first Batman too. Though. These movies were getting some big names in here, but you know here, Arnold Schwarzenegger, huge. His name was over Batman. You know he was billed first over George Clooney and everybody else. Sure, Schwarzenegger had his own movies going. Exactly. Well, it was it was almost like he was slumming to be in this movie. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, they gave him they gave him a lot of money. Oh God! To be in. it was a it was a crazy payday. And plus, I could I could see other reasons why he would want to do this movie. Bucker Phil and courage. You know, I gotta tell and you, wires. Yeah, yeah, yeah oh, lots of, tons lots of wires. Of wires. <laughs> Man, I gotta tell you. Uh, <laughs> You know, after watching, uh, after what, you know, after uh, uh, watching Batman, the Batman, we just got through watching the Batman not too long ago. Find the gun. I can take care of myself. It's a real, it's a shock. <laughs> yeah. Going back and watching <laughs> Batman and Robin. Uh huh. You you see how we got to where we are right now. Yo, it's like <laughs> it's, it's, something had to be it, done. Yeah, it's like Mr. Freeze took some freezing water and threw that shit in my face. It just woke me up. Like whoa, we have come a long way. Mm-hmm. Don't ever they don't ever take this for granted. <laughs> shit, it kind of made me like this movie more. I was like, man, you know, I should have been a lot nicer to this movie, and I gave this movie a low full price. I said, like, you know, maybe I should have bumped up to at least full price because after watching this other movie, I was like, damn, we've come a long way, man. <laughs> I remember seeing Batman Forever and thinking like, I don't know about this direction, but everybody loved it. And at the time I liked it, I didn't hate it or anything. Mm-hmm. You know, and I, like I said, I really love the soundtrack and whatnot. But you know, with this, I really think that it's a case of, it was just, they doubled down and it was all too much. You know, the visuals, the, the visuals alone, is like stuffing yourself with candy for two hours, man. You know, they, they added sugar to something that tasted just fine. It made it way too sweet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> At one time, I said, well, you know what? And again, I don't mean anything about this. It's directed by a gay director. You put a whole lot of gay window in this. And I thought, well, hey, man, it, the gays will love it. You know, it, it's it's very homoerotic. And the movie's just, it really, the movie's just, it's, it's like one big, just awesome gay club, a big drag show. It's like a big drag show. Yeah. And I thought, you know, I thought, here, you know, <laughs> And I said, all right, well, the gays are like it. At least there's something for them. I can see this being something that's played in the clubs, you know, the gay clubs all the time. I can see, you know, this being a gay cult film right here. Uh, and the root, you know, cause I tell you this, I'll give you this with this movie right here. This movie's, this movie's, it, it, it's despised for a good reason. But I'll give you this. This is the, this is probably the movie where we have gotten this intimate with Batman. Well, we've gotten to know Batman this well because this movie starts, this is the only Batman movie where it starts with Batman's dick and ass all up in our face. <laughs> if you remember the be look, before Batman even comes on the scene, before Robin even comes on the scene, his ass and his dick is and his nipples too his nipples, are all don't, don't up in our face. Listen, there's a lot of gay people out there that says, 
that said, you know what? I've had a lot of dick and ass in my face. But this is too much. It's too much. This is going. Now this is too far. No, no. This, this is, is this is Ace and Gary at, at this yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's just like, come well, on, the thing is, because after watching this, because I had time, I went back and and, and rewatched Batman Forever. Right. And yeah. it has a similar opening. Like it, it opens the same way with him putting stuff on, but it's it's never gets close up on the genitals. No, not and, like and this. And this one just took like, well, it worked before. Right. Let's just crank it a little. Yeah. Bit. And it was a joke with the ass in Batman Forever. It was but a, this right boom. here. Yeah. This is like this is like you sitting down and Batman's trying to get off the plane to go to the bathroom in front of you. And he's yeah, giving right. Ass. <laughs> or he gives you the crotch. <laughs> you know, yeah, you yeah, want which, that? which one do you want? Yeah. The, the ass or the crotch? <laughs> you want bad ass? You want bad dick? Because let it, me know. The way it lingers, <laughs> you just go in. I, I don't understand the purpose of putting a seam <laughs> in this rubber suit for the ass crack. I, I love. It. <laughs> and if you look too, yeah, because he gave us back crack and everything. And it jiggles. He made sure to put. Yeah, some, he made sure. Yeah. He made sure to put the, the. He made sure to put the bat ass jiggle up in there. You yeah, see, you yeah, see yeah. that, like, dum, that dum. little jiggle right there. So I was like, you know. He's like, it's not as hot otherwise. He, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Same reason I put that motherfucking seam in there. <laughs> Batman. Batman got Action. all that jelly, no toast. Yeah, yeah no toast. <laughs> yeah. All that jelly, no toast. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. All, all that bad ass and no toast. All that bad jelly, no, no toast. toast. <laughs> so if anybody came in expecting some darkness, even with all that ass up in your face, if you still coming up here expecting this sullen, morose, dark Batman, nah, man. They let you know right in the beginning that this is gonna be the Batman and Robin comedy hour. <laughs> I want a car. Chicks dig the car. This is why Superman works alone. Okay, y'all got a routine. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> I was okay. like, y'all going to do it every night? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I've well, already heard this joke. Well, it's funny because... <laughs> Master Bruce, could I, I write you some new material, perhaps? <laughs> no, I write my own material. And it's funny I should mention Alfred because Alfred can't wait to get them the f*** out the mansion. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he is tired of this routine, he, he's man. He's over it. Yeah, yeah well, it the moment Robin leaves, he's like, Jesus, thank God. <laughs> Don't wait up, Val. I'll cancel the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Thought he'd never leave. Yeah, but, it's, but it's almost like his yeah. face like this. I can't take this shit yeah, no yeah. more. Like, exactly. I mean, I've been here for like, yeah. ages. Jesus, thank yeah. God. <laughs> Just a little piece. I've been having to hear them jokes all day long. <laughs> oh, you know, and Alfred is sick in the movie, yeah, but I'm sick. sure he's sick of their shit too. Yeah, he can be both. Yeah, he can be both. Yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure the, the jokes ain't helping. <laughs> those guys, those yeah. guys, them got their wisecracks ain't helping his condition. <laughs> you know, I'd be just fine if y'all would just shut the. Oh. oh my god. Oh, maybe they'll get killed on this one. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah, on this one. Maybe this yeah, will be the yeah. one. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Oh. Now today people people say that it was because everybody wanted a dark Batman. That's why this failed. And that is not the That's truth, man. Not no. True. No. I don't th and I personally don't think that that is the case. Like I said, Batman and Robin it, it was just doing way too much. They tried to like just they, they like cranked it up too high from what they had before. Maybe if they had kept that balance and uh, didn't, it just didn't go overboard, it might have been all right, too. It's a weird case of doing too much, but also doing too little. Yes, exactly. You know, uh, people were, surprisingly, people were, they were fine with a lighthearted Batman. You know, it worked with this movie right here, Bat, uh, Batman Forever. But... It took what was successful and just, you know, cranked it up too high. What was a lighthearted, fun film before it became a goofy cartoon that was bigger, louder, and way more annoying mm -hmm. than what it was before. Uh, you could The first sequence, when the movie opens up, it says everything that is wrong with this movie. It sets up everything. Everything just seems too excessive. You can see right here the... The buildings got more grandiose. Yeah. The, the 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 music got louder, more bombastic. Uh, you know, the camera work was just kind of just all over the place. Now, you know, they, they they were just doing swirling camera moves just because they could. Stop! Oh! Drop your weapon! Stop 
and they bumped up the colors to where everything looked like it looked like a laser tag arena. Yeah, mm. it did. You know, it didn't look yeah. like you know the colors were bright before, but now it's kind of like, damn, do we have to have? Do we have to take a, a highlighter and fluorescent markers to everything? Well, <laughs> a, a, another thing, a, a, a big thing I found overall with this was unlike the other movies, uh, none of it felt like it happened in a real place. Yeah. Right. All very sound stagey. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and even even the outside shots of Gotham, it's like these are models or it's it's computer generated. Yeah. None, none of this none of this even has a, a hint of being real. <clears throat> And every scene is filmed like uh, like a Broadway show, like like something oh, you is. go see live theater. Where yeah, they're gonna throw everything in there. It's gonna be extravagant, but none of it means anything. No. It, might, it was it was more ice capades than it was movie. Well, this right here, I mean, look at this shot. I'm gonna show you something. That shot don't need to be that long. That shot is just saying, look at me. Look yeah. how cool, look how much money we got. Look how cool this is. Oh, you like what we did before? Wait until you see how much money we got now. That's 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 all it was. It's a very <laughs> self-indulgent film. Well, I mean, they, they don't spend some of that money. They could spend some of them fake-ass icicles they got in there. Yeah. God yeah. damn, that looks bad <laughs> when they go well, inside. <laughs> and here's the thing, man. A lot of people can let that go because hey. a lot of people say, you know, Batman movies... We all know that some of this is based off of the Art Deco design that was in the Tim Burton movies. Everything is in, intentionally grandiose. Okay, so we can do that. I don't have a problem with that. If you can make it work, make it work. If, you know, show your money. Show, you know, show how you live in large. That's cool. But you f*** up Batman, and that's a no-no. <laughs> this movie right here, listen, I'm going to tell you all something. <laughs> Even in some of the weakest Batman movies, shows, video games... They always make sure that if Batman busts through a window, it's going to be badass. Sure. The rest of this might be complete bullshit, but if Batman busts through a window, it's always going to be cool. You know, either he's going to bust through a window and start showing everybody all his cool gadgets and toys and everything. So that's Batman saying, look at my shit. Look at my shit. <laughs> well, I do love Jack Nicholson's yeah. face. They're like, like, what's that going to do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay. All right. You know, I could I'm, kill you right now. You, you know you miss me, right? Yeah. yeah. I could kill you, but check out this cool shit right here. <laughs> yeah. He just wanted to come in and brag. Uh-huh. Just bust through the window, the glass, because he come in and brag. But that's a rare case. Most of the time, if he's busting through a window, that means somebody getting their ass beat. Probably the whole room. I wanted Lorna through the Anybody got a problem with that? Just you. I like the way, you know what? I was I was hoping you would do that. Yeah. I was I was you you the mother that I want when I bust the window. The one that think he the first one think he can whoop Batman's ass. But he's also like, you know what? We all can get an ass, but I'm gonna get this shit over with. Yeah. <laughs> I he's, nap anyway. He said there's there's always one. Yeah. Always one. Always one trying to run up on Batman. And getting in the first one to get his ass beat. God damn! <laughs> that, that would be just painful. Solid. Upper. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. solid. That, that's a you got to get your jaw rewired. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. So when this movie came in, Batman's <laughs> intro all up. I said, all right, I know this is gonna be trash. <laughs> Seriously, I mean, he came in, he busted in, and I actually thought for a second. I said, wow, man, you know what? This this is gonna be cool. I freeze. Man, we didn't waste no, <laughs> we didn't waste no time getting stupid. We, boy, whoa. So Corey, you you thought that was gonna be cool, huh? But they wasted no time getting stupid. First, first of all, first off, him, him feeling the need to introduce himself. Fred, I'm Batman. First of all, let's go back to that head. He came in, that head went right to shaking. Nah, but little man. ears were shaking. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Freeze, I'm Batman. <laughs> First thought, you know. oh, oh, oh. oh shit, hold on. <laughs> Look at his head. I freeze. I'm Batman. Didn't waste no time getting stupid. <laughs> the worst is, is him saying, I'm Batman. Uh, it was a quick shot at me. <laughs> and they're going to do it. Yeah. You see him turn his body to go yeah. do it, which is even worse. I'm sorry. My man. My man busted in, Batman style, through the glass. The moment you think something bad is gonna happen, and that mother 
Just went and slid on a dinosaur. For a long time. You, you don't think him skiing on a dinosaur is no. cool? Man, that fool looking like Fred Flintstone getting off of work. <laughs> I'm Batman. <laughs> landed in the, uh, landed in the Batmobile. <laughs> that fool, he went from being Batman to Fred Flintstone. Yeah. You don't do that. It was cool when Fred Flintstone did it. Yeah. <laughs> well, bitch, you ain't Fred Flintstone. The long range ski jump. <laughs> yeah. No, he, he did that, that Olympic <laughs> jump right there. Oh like they God. blasted him out of a cannon. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I didn't see that. Oh, you, you didn't notice that? Yeah, man. <laughs> So he can get hang time? Yeah, what? hey, watch this shit. <laughs> Man, it would have been so funny if he just flew right past Mr. Freeze and out another window. <laughs> out of window. Oh, shit. <laughs> Love you, Brian. <laughs> well, I guess back to work, guys. <laughs> he keeps crashing through windows yeah. coming in. <laughs> wait a minute, I'll, I'll get it right. I'm going to get this right. Get, hold time, on, I got, I got it. it. <laughs> hold on, hold on, wait. <laughs> <laughs> shit. I got it. Hold on. I do have all day. <laughs> it this movie, you know, it, it, you it got nothing on like Arnold in this movie, man. Arnold Schwarzenegger. This movie has nothing on him. I, Cause I tell you, Arnold Schwarzenegger came in and he's having fun. I mean, if nothing else, I can tell you, he's he is having a good time. Show some mercy. Mercy. I'm afraid that my condition has left me cold. You know. I'll tell you, of course he's having, of course my man is having a good time in this. Let me see here because, because you could see him just having a blast with some of the, even some of the silliest parts of the movie he, right he, here. Yeah, he wasn't concerned. No. Yeah, he, 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 he's having that money to count his money. Yeah, yeah I mean, you there. got paid $25 million plus to, 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 to do this silly ass movie. Frank. Oh uh, yeah, you be singing your ass off too. <laughs> Sing, <laughs> goddammit. Sing. Sing, goddamn you. Yeah, you be. <laughs> you be yeah, you can your props that look real. Like, even those frozen dinners look like. I mean, he was like, come on. You know what I, mean? I mean, it's like all that money. What do you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, shit. If you, <laughs> yeah, if you had all that money, you'd be going. You'd be singing your ass off too. Sing. Sing. I'm rich, damn it. Sing. You know, this is a <laughs> also. It seems like he knew what he was in too. Yeah, he yeah. did. Like he was just like, look, y'all, okay. The thing <laughs> is, yeah, he he knew what he was in, man. You know, or and, didn't I, care. And I'm gonna tell you, as a as a Batman, as, I'm, I'm talking to people out there as a Batman fan. Uh, some of y'all, you you doing your best, man. You trying to hang in there. You trying to say, look, you know what I did. Hey, yeah, the last Batman movie, Batman Forever, that was a little bit jarring when I f first started watching it. But once I got into it, you know, I I, I got with the flow. Mm -hmm. You know, I got used to it. Mm -hmm. You know, come on, y'all, let's let's get Batman a chance. We owe that to Batman. Let's see what he's doing right here. <laughs> but by the <laughs> by the time those henchmen come in, man, <laughs> by the time those henchmen oh. come in, and they start turning this into a Six Flags sideshow yep. oh, stage show. Yep. Grab the gem, kill the heroes. <laughs> At this point, you've gone from having hope to, <laughs> my God, Batman, what have you done? Now, <laughs> what are you doing? Now, now. Now, I, I, I would offer a different point of view. What's up? So as I was coming to this, as we all were, I thought, you know what? I had a, 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 a way I thought Batman should be back then. <clears throat> so, yeah, of course, he rubbed me the wrong way. But now, looking at it, you know, 20 years later, 30 years later, let's try to see it. From its point of view, maybe it's doing something different. Maybe I'm just not getting it. Yeah. And I thought, if you look at this like it's a modernization of the '60s show, this seems like that. It's doing Dutch angles. Yeah. Uh, you know, everything <coughs> is kind of played for laughs. <coughs> just kind of look at it like this, and then you can kind of appreciate it. That lasted about three minutes. Okay, I was but say. but I, yeah. I did give it. I I tried my hardest to try to come to terms with it and it just wasn't oh i never gave it i'm talking about other people out there i never gave this shit a chance i really you know i i that shit last hey listen that scarred me <laughs> from the first time i saw i don't think i've seen this since 1990 1997 is when this came out yeah. yeah i know I, I i've been i've been scarred for life from watching this i never expected anything from this anything from this but the ref, man the shit the the, the refresher that i got right here 
looking at this and I just you don't just don't sometimes you let enough time pass but you just don't realize how bad something is. True. You think you try to give it the benefit of the doubt because you think, well, it's just my mind filling in the blanks. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's the movie filling in the blanks right here. Because after you see something like that, where we see all this ice skating going on and everything with these henchmen coming in here. They won't stop ice skating. It's, it really is like <laughs> Batman's ice capades, man. Yep. Both him and Robin. They got ready-made blades on their bat boots. Oh, that shit, that's, the, uh, that's the henchman right there. Ready made blade. No, man, they put the band, they, they, they act like they're about to like be, uh, they act like they're about to be dance partners at the Olympic tryouts or mm -hmm. something. They they kick them heels up. <laughs> the blade, as, those blades as, come out those boots, man. <laughs> even yeah, Batman, look, even Batman cool. looking at Robin like, man, I'm sorry. Yeah. This, this shit look better on paper, man. <laughs> you know <laughs> <laughs> I think it's more of like, now aren't you glad I installed those skates? Right, right. It's like, just in case we need them. Yeah. Oh, come on, baby. We ain't never going to need that shit. <laughs> See? Actually, he's looking at him like, say it, stupid. Say it. I'm yeah, yeah. I'll, cut you, I'll, I'll cut your ass with this boot right there. <laughs> it turns into such a corny stage show that even the, the extras, they start acting like those background dancers in a, in a cheesy-ass musical. You know, the kind of the, the people that... They ain't got no dialogue. <laughs> you know, they ain't got no they 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 you know they ain't got no lines to sing. So they trying to make the most out of whatever camera time or whatever what stage time they get. They got people playing peekaboo in this. <laughs> peekaboo. Uh, <yeah. laughs> <laughs> dun, dun, dun. And you can see the strings on them. They ain't even trying yeah. to hide the strings. No. It got to a point where somebody said, I'm not hiding all these strings. It's obvious. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna make a difference. You can see the strings on these uh -huh. people, man. They just they just worked it into the story. Mm -hmm. After a while, they stopped trying to use CG to cover up all these all these wires here, man. <laughs> I, I tell you this. At least Arnold's, like I said, man. You know, I ain't got nothing on him. He's having fun. At least he's having a good time. It's cool. Like I said, he, <laughs> that fool got paid $25 million. If I was me, I'd be jolly as too. In 97. And that's right. So like, yeah, I mean, put it in perspective because now people are like, well, you know, they get all the... No, no, but this is 1997. Yeah. Everybody was like, what? But I got to tell you, years, years of telling puns made him think that he was actually funny. I know. I guess so. That went to his head. I tell you, once, once he gets a taste... Mm. He don't stop, man. Yeah, he's, like, he's addicted at that point. Like Lay's potato chips to him. That's why I keep telling you, Martin. You better watch how many puns you tell, hey, man. man you I, up, I, I backed off. I'm just saying for your health, man. You're gonna be like this, man. People keep telling me that you make more puns than me now. I know you did it to me. You got me. You you got you me hooked. addicted. You, yeah, you, you hooked. Yeah, you got me hooked, man. Yeah, I told yeah, you, man. Yeah. You, you don't want no part of this. No, I can't. <laughs> you that first taste of a hot ride. Martin even told me he gave me some puns. He said, "Tell your friends." Yeah, yeah. He wanted me to get you hooked, man. No, man, I don't do that shit, man. <laughs> he created that man. Just say no. That he does not. <laughs> this man does not stop. I mean, all through the movie, he don't slow down like, at all. Like, you could not have a, a straight conversation with him about anything without him just crowbarring those things in there. You'd be like, you know what, man? If you can't take this seriously, I'm going to go. I'd be like, I know you're bigger than me, but I'm about to kill you, man. One way or another, I'm about Say to destroy else, you. I swear to God. I'm about to, I'll wait for you to turn your back and I'll knock your ass. I, I, the man, I, it's enough through the movie, through the whole movie. But once you start watching them back to back, it's... It really does drive you insane. You are not sending me to the cool. Okay. All right. Cool, you got one. Yeah, All right. Okay. You don't want to go to What jail. killed the dinosaurs? Yeah, he's age. All right, man. <laughs> kind of right. kind of random. All right, cool. All right. Stay cool. Man, I'll tell you whatever you want. Please, just stop. <laughs> I'll tell you what you want to know. Just don't hurt me again, please. Ah, uh, you froze. All right, everyone. Chill. God uh, damn, man. Yeah. <laughs> Please. He points out his life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you ain't tell me you're going to be doing this all the time, god damn it. At this point, you got tears coming out your eyes. Please, man. Please stop. I'm be man, I'm begging you. I'll give you my mama, man. Please, just stop. Cool party. <laughs> 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 
that was just that, that, that sound was just lazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, really. Like, if, you, if you gonna do this, man, put some effort into it. <laughs> you kidding me, man? That's when you. Yeah. That's when oh, you. Yeah, yeah. That's when you get your arcade. Hey, y'all kidding me with this shit, man? God damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I now, now, Corey. No, man, this is my life. We talking about him. Corey, Corey, can, can you sit so we can yeah. finish this conversation? Corey, Corey. Now, Corey, you sit down. No, you, you sit down. Sit down and chill. <laughs> sit down. <laughs> okay, freeze. <laughs> Corey, Corey, you know my favorite rap. I'm <laughs> sorry, go ahead. Be cool. <laughs> Wait, before you do that, have you heard the new Ice Cube album? <laughs> 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 about puns to say. Now he just started, he just starts doing s sayings and phrases. If revenge is a dish best of cord. Oh, no, he ain't yeah. done yet. Tonight, hell freezes over. Hold on. You got, you, got, you got one more. He got one more. Tonight's forecast. A freeze. Okay, yeah, yeah, I got, yeah, thank uh, you, thank you, thank you, yeah. yeah this, I feel like yeah. you got a theme going here. <laughs> you know what? Maybe right. that 25 million, he was being paid by the pun. <laughs> <laughs> He's just being Arnold. Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, and I know Martin like our impressions, but you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. It's like he looked at me like, all right. No, no, no yeah. Let him come over here and whip our ass. Yeah. Because <laughs> Every Schwar every Schwarzenegger movie has a lot of dialogue that says. Blah, 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 blah. I, no, I, I noticed that early on. Oh, like, oh yeah. he's doing this a lot. Man, oh yeah, man. <laughs> like that, you don't even see him, and you hear him doing that. that <laughs> like never... the time that he got turned, like in the movie right here when he got turned into Mister Freeze. <laughs> oh, yeah. that oh shit, no, <laughs> that shit is hilarious. It's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Match up. It doesn't match up. No, no, it seems oh like that. God. It seems like that. That make me want to like just spend a day at home with Arnold Schwarzenegger yeah. because I want to know like if he stubs his toe or if he can't open up a package if he makes it sense. <laughs> or he can't take the wait, toast wait, out there. Yeah, he can't, just, yeah, he can't open the package. Here, baby, just give it to me. Yeah. <laughs> Invite him over and just leave Kevin McAllister traps all yeah, over the yeah. place. Mouse traps. <laughs> yeah. Or toast come out. Yeah. <laughs> In the middle of the night, he's trying to go to the bathroom. <laughs> What's wrong? Stop me toe. Are you having sex and that's good? <laughs> oh, oh, that's when you just lay there and just like. <laughs> you finish? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, get to the chopper. By well, the way, I gotta ask y'all. <laughs> who, who the f puts all of their equipment and monitors right next to a freezing cryo chamber. Right, right. A vat full of... You can, <laughs> so you can fall no, right into with, with no guardrail. With no, with no guardrail. Yeah, no, 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 behind you. Yeah, the guardrail is everywhere except right, right by there. Except right there. Yeah. So he can fall in. So he can fall everywhere there's guardrails except right there. <laughs> <laughs> so he can easily, so he can easily <laughs> fall into that. <laughs> That's why Mr. Freeze needs hide-it mounts, man. Because with these uh. hide-it mounts right here, you know he could easily clear up all that space that he had, make it safe so that he doesn't have to stand that close to that right there, easily organize his space over here. And if y'all don't know what hide-it mounts are, I'm going to explain that to you. And listen, all of you out there, you chances are if you're watching us on Twitch, you know, if you're, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube and, you know, or if you're just, uh, if you're not a gamer, if you're not someone who's a streamer, you're someone who probably has just a nice entertainment center or a nice man cave or whatever. And a 
a lot of people now, even when they're not streamers, they're just all about like making their space very nice. You know, you can see right here that these amounts for numerous things like monitors. You can see here that they got these people right here got their uh, they got their headphones up. They got decorations up. But really, this is just about trying to either make your space look nice for like I say, if you're streaming or if you're someone who needs to organize their space, maybe you got an office, to people who just want to like spruce up their entertainment space. I actually requested this because I do feel like a lot of people who watch us are streamers or you do have spaces like this where you go and you, uh, you watch shows like ours. So if you find your space being a little bit cluttered, then start using these hide it mounts to actually not only declutter your space, but just make it look nice. Make it look like a room you want to go into. Make it look like a room that you want to hang out in. Impress your friends. And needless to say, if you're a streamer, you definitely want to kind of set up things to not only make it easy for you to look at all the monitors that you have, but just make your environment look very nice. Hey, declutter your space. Declutter your mind. You know, with this also, here's some other things that, uh, that you should know about this. Uh, first of all, they're heavy duty, man. They're they're, they're, they're powder coated still for strength and they're very, they're very durable. Uh, and each mount can be installed in minutes. You could probably do this yourself. You don't have to bring anybody over if you don't want to, even though you can do that. Uh, but just in case you need some help, they got great customer, customer service right here. You can talk to them to help guide you through whatever's going on or any kind of other needs you might have. And here's something interesting before I actually try to really sell you on this. Uh, this was started in 2009 uh, when you had two owners who are women who started this. So this is a woman-owned company right here. So if just about supporting people who have a company out there and, you know, people who usually need to have the support for these kind of companies and businesses, if you want to support that, uh, this is something that you can do too. So enough of me talking about that. You want to know how to get these. Well, simply go over to hideitmounts.com forward slash toasted. That way we get a little recognition for that too. And I want to thank Hide It Mounts for supporting this part of the show. And I want to thank you all of, the, uh, all of you out there for your support. And as I said, speaking of support, I really do think you'll like these. Uh, I know a lot of people who are trying to find ways to creatively hang up their monitors and other things in their rooms. <laughs> I also forgot that Vivica Fox was in this. Yeah. Dude, Blake she, don't, you miss her. she don't even need to be in there. No. Nope. No, she's trying to trying to get Arnold put that popsicle on her. Breezy. Okay. <laughs> Damn. So my hair is brittle and my skin is dry. I'd weather blizzards just to Shit, he's like, I don't get with black chicks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's trying to she, you know, she is not taking a hint. Hey, let me tell you something, man. Knowing Arnold Schwarzenegger, how he is in real life, that's the best acting in my no, yeah, yeah. Like you don't want none of that. Uh -huh. Well, as soon as they said cut, he was all up on that. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, you better believe it. <laughs> Shit. Where were we? Black ass. Right, yeah. <laughs> You're the most perfect man I've ever known. What are you? <laughs> you can see him doing something like that. Black ass. You know, I've, never had, I've never had black ass before. <laughs> Heat things up. My passion thoughts for my bride alone. Ooh. Mm -hmm. like she's like, I'm out. She's like, I'll fart on you and thaw you out, right? <laughs> yeah, but also, what is she doing there then? Nothing. Like, like, cause remember in Batman Forever, I, he had Drew Barrymore and Demi Mazar. Yeah, the, but yeah. those were actually his girlfriends. Right. Yeah. Right. I don't, I don't know, like, man. Well, they're trying to do the same thing, yeah. but he clearly wants nothing to do with her. So why is she there? She and she's not in the movie at all. They could have cut right, this out. Right. This right. Doesn't, yeah. didn't need to be here. It's as if they had that same thought of like, oh, he has to have a sexy mall, and then somebody has like, no, he pines for his wife. Right. Unless so she was, a, unless this. she was like a, a, you know, a big name at the time, and they just had her. Or there's some. Scenes they had to cut out. Well, Vivica Fox was pretty big at the time. Yeah, and this is thinking her prime, she was absolutely sure. goddamn yeah, this gorgeous. Is, but yeah, this, this is like around Independence, Independence Day. Day. Yeah, and, so right. that's probably what it is. I look at this, and, and Arnold's having fun, but he could not give up those cigars, man. Yeah. Not even for a character that is not supposed to have heat around him because right. it would kill him. Jesus did, Christ. Yeah, I, didn't he, he, oh, I, I didn't even think about that, but did I you did read the whole thing with him and those cigars? No. He used to have, uh, I think it was uh, uh, John Bon Jovi used to come in personally and deliver those cigars to him. 
him and I think Jesse Ventura would sit around smoking them in between shots. John Bon Jovi. Yes. Why? I, I guess they're buddies. I don't know. Yeah, uh, I don't know. But but he had them paint the cigars white so that he could smoke. Oh. Smoke them in character. Yeah, I saw that, but it still don't make sense no, because it, it make still sense. makes sense. Right. No, he still has to light it on fire. I know. Yeah, and it's and it's definitely red at the tip. So yeah. like, all right, God, put you can't put it down for once. He could not. He's, and, like, and, he's like, you want me in this movie? I yeah. gotta smoke my cigars. Exactly. You ain't gonna tell him no. And not in between scenes on on camera. He's got to be able to do it. Going back to Batman. Man. Poor poor Batman in this man. They thing is, it's almost <laughs> this. <laughs> so we were already talking about how silly Batman was in this, but it's almost like the movie, like the movie accepted a challenge to see just how stupid they can make Batman oh look. Oh my God! They Batman and Robin. Oh, especially Robin. Jesus oh. Christ! Yeah, no, both of them, man. But they both had those, <laughs> those moments. They they're on a rocket ship. Boys, no, I was, wait, the, you can't just be. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Freeze launches. He launches a, 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 a ice rocket or something. <laughs> Oh, like, like, they, they're on a rocket ship. Like, wait, what? They on a rocket ship. Mr. Freeze has a plan. The plan is to take Batman and Robin to space in this rocket so he could freeze them to death. What yeah. the because fuck? the cold of space will make them all will, will, will stop Batman's heart. Thing is, they get up to space. That's not even the dumbest part right there. The dumbest part is what they do once they get up there. <laughs> Surfing oh. from space. <laughs> surfing on the air. Surfing, surfing on air, air from yeah, space. Yeah, surfing yeah, on yeah, air. air. Air surfing from uh, from the stratosphere. And, uh, you know, you go like, well, I guess if they're going to employ, <laughs> de- I mean, deploy parachutes, okay. But no, they, they ain't no. doing that. No, no wow. They, why, why deploy parachutes when you got... All those nice wires on your wrist. I know, I know. You look oh like a puppet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't do it. You look like a damn no, marionette. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> did, 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 did you notice how the, the, the ship is going out of the atmosphere and Batman's inside freezing? But Robin's clinging on the outside just fine. Just fine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he wore his thermal underwear. Yeah. But I can see the AC on inside yeah. the rocket. Yeah. <laughs> look at this shit. Like he looks like he, he looks like a like a goddamn marionette coming out of there. Like <laughs> 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 somebody had an action figure on a string. Oh, somebody pushed him out. <laughs> Cause he just kind of goes out. They just surfing on air like like physics ain't shit. By the way, you could tell that those are some shitty CG characters oh, right there. It's like animation. Yeah, like it does. Cartoon. Yeah, it looks like 2D. Yeah. It does, it does. Yeah. I'm not even like saying it because I'm mad at it, which I most certainly am. <laughs> but <laughs> I know, people, I know, I know that this is a comic book. I, I know this. <laughs> but that don't give you the right to get that stupid, all right? That doesn't, just because a comic book don't mean you got carte blanche to do whatever the hell you want to do. This movie, early on, it does something <laughs> and it goes like, hey, it's a comic book. And the minute you go like, okay, I get that. Oh, you do? All right then, you said it. You said it, you said it. Everybody heard him. He's, he, said, he said he got that, all right. Exactly. Now we can do whatever <laughs> we want to do. You, you the last one to touch it. Yeah. <laughs> you got to throw it away. No, yes. you agreed. But I will give you this. I am impressed because the moment you see some stupidity like this, you you say, well, they can't get any sillier than that. <laughs> That's what the Jeez. movie says. Excuse me, what did you say? <laughs> Nothing. No, I, I, no, no. No, no, hey, you said something. <laughs> y'all might want to get back because this, this is about to get real stupid right now. He oh. put it. He had to pull his his turtle out, oh, man. Oh man, Michelangelo Bell get hit him with a cease and desist, that boy. Did a flip, caught a diamond, and said, "Cowabunga!" No, cowabunga! <laughs> cowabunga! <laughs> Only thing I was missing was a dude on there. Yeah, or tubular. Uh, tubular. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it just shows that any of you who have jumped out of an airplane and used a parachute, you're a bunch of bitches. Yes, I know. You don't need no <laughs> goddamn parachute. 
Funny thing is, Joel Schumacher finally realized, he realized that, you know what? I really am making a cartoon. So let's just take it all the way. <laughs> you heard I heard that. What? Yeah. There's bonks. Oh, yeah. Like, it's, it's, it's the whole <laughs> Hanna-Barbera sound it, effects package. It is. It is. That, oh, that's the, speaking of Fred Flintstone, he did that Fred Flintstone slip, uh -huh. that, that Scooby-Doo slip. Wait. Oh my God! Yeah. Yep. The banana splits. Yeah. Yeah. It's so cartoony. They say, "But well, shit, if we gonna if we gonna sound like Scooby Doo, we might as well just go ahead and bring the gang in here." There's a scene where they got Shaggy clearly in the shot. You know what? Funny thing is, Shaggy is the most realistic thing in the movie. They, that's another thing that people didn't like. How this just got way too cartoony. Sure. It's like, all right, you're comic bookish now. You know, now you're kind of fantastical, but now you are straight up Saturday morning cartoon. Well, and it's not really working. Well, John Glover, the actor who plays Jason Woodrow in this, mm -hmm. I read a, a quote from him where he said, because he's a really good character actor, and he's been in a lot of even comic book properties. But uh, he said it was tough, but he said Joel Schumacher was up on a crane just yelling at everybody, everybody remember, this is a cartoon we're doing. Yeah. So oh, he was just yeah. like, well, His so whole yes. thing at the time, he said, because now he apologized later, Joel Schumacher. Yeah, he, was just, apology, he was like, yeah. they just, they made me do it. Warner Brothers, they want to just, every day just want us to make it more wacky. But before, I don't know if he was just being, a, you know, he was getting paid and he had to say what Warner Brothers told him to say. But he was like, ah, y'all, they're called comic books, not tragedy books. Well, you made a tragedy right here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But when you say that, when you go back and say that, then you've just affirmed my, cons you know, my, my my suspicions. Like, yeah, this is all you. Yeah. yeah and yeah, also, yeah. this is clearly his production. I mean, well, yeah, Warner I mean, Brothers, they were on him. They said, listen, we do not want a repeat of Batman Returns. So go in here and make this as silly as you can. They were watching the dailies every day, and they were just kind of like, we love it. This is cool. They were also pushing the gadgets and the vehicles because they wanted to sell they wanted toys. to sell those toys, yeah. Here's a design we have for the, the ice bat, Batmobile. So get it in yeah. there somehow. George Clooney, like he, he, he'll he tell you, man, yeah, look, this, yeah. I'm, I'm still hurting from this movie. Like he'll, he'll tell people out there, he'll say, he, there was a quote where he said, you know what, I will never show Batman and Robin to my wife because I want her to respect me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's all, like somebody, he was on a show, Graham Norton, I think, and he said, yeah, yeah, Graham he said do you apologize for Batman and Robin? He's like, I'm always apologizing for Batman and Robin to this day. Yeah, there's rumors that he would give people their money back if they said, man, I saw that movie, it sucked. Like, yeah, here, you, here you go. But he would always say, I killed the franchise. Oh, yeah, I was terrible in it. I, it, it, I ruined it. And you, you watch it, you go like, you're like the only thing that's not terrible in this. Really? Yeah. But, but then later he admitted, he's like, well, if I say I'm terrible, then it's okay for me to talk shit about it. Yeah, you right. know, you look, you don't want to, because George Clooney is, I mean, for as successful as this guy is, he could have a huge ego. But I hear that he's a real cool dude, mm -hmm. man. And he realizes, like, look, if I come out and say, well, at least I was good in it, that don't sound, right. that don't sound good. So he's, you know, he's, he, he's, <laughs> not he's being a team, he's being a team player here. Yeah. But, you know, if, if one person sucks, then we all suck. Right. But rewatching it today, I was like, you know, he's really not that bad. It, in, a, in a better movie, he could have pulled off being a good Batman because he's a yep. he's a very charming Bruce Wayne. He's he's he is a Batman who's not like you say dark and morose. Mm -hmm. He's like it's like it's kind of like he's dealt with it and he's just trying to like I'm still trying to do the right thing. No, I I that's why I want to bring him up because I 100% agree. I think that you can say what he you know what you want to say about him being Batman. I think it had been a better movie. He's got the look to be Batman. He mm -hmm. could have been a great Batman. And I do really believe that he's a good Bruce Wayne, man. Yeah. Uh, there's a scene in here, as bad as this movie is, there's a scene in here that actually shows the potential of what this movie could have been uh, with these actors and under, I'm not going to even put on Joel Schumacher and just say under a better director, but just under a better project, a Batman project, this could have been good. It's a, it's a scene with him and Alfred that's pretty mm -hmm. intimate where, uh -huh. you know, yeah. where he actually tells Alfred, I love you, man, and that was a good scene. I love you, old man. Bruce, what are you? Bruce, what are you doing? No, no, wait, help! <laughs> help! <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> you just lay back and take it, old man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a sweet scene. And I, and like I said, I think he'll be a great. He, he is. A, I think he is a great Bruce Wayne in this, except. He can't keep that man, head still, I know, man. I know. It's, 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 it's distracting. It, it, it took Spielberg talking to him. <laughs> What'd he say? You move your head one more goddamn time. Well, it, it, he was like, man, I like this Clooney guy. If it, somebody could just get him to stop moving his head. And it, word got back to him. And he was like, oh, oh shit. shit. Yeah. Yeah. He started wearing a neck brace. <laughs> yeah. Cliss, yeah. and you almost got killed by Freeze tonight. What, do, do, you, <laughs> do you have Parkinson's from the neck up? What the hell is going on? Well, you know, it's funny is that he kind of does that and out of sight, but it's not, it's not appropriate here. Mm-hmm. And in with the, with the with the tight close ups and all that, like in out of sight when he's yelling, he's he's going all over the place. Yeah, but it it works for what he's doing. Yeah, you know, he's frantic. He's got things yeah. to do, that kind of thing. But yeah, somebody, hey, I guess somebody did get back to him and say, "Keep your goddamn head still." But I guess Joel Schumacher was just. Yeah, you yeah, so right, right, exactly. of him and it's like you can do what you want, baby. You do what you want yeah, to do. You're fine, ass. Jiggle, <laughs> jiggle, yeah, no, yeah. jiggle that head, jiggle that ass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, if you look like you look at McConaughey in, in Time to Kill, yeah, like that's oh, yeah. not oh, yeah. his best work. No, good movie, but no, yeah, yeah, but yeah. it's just same thing. He like mm-hmm. shows you if I can direct that one too. Yeah. You just do whatever yeah, you need to do. George Clooney, like hell, the more the more you move your head, the more that ass jiggles. So you just go right ahead. Matter of fact, let's shoot that scene again. Yeah, exactly. With that rubber. Get that rubber in there. You put yourself in danger. You know, like, what the f*** is wrong? I mean, I wonder if at the time he was thinking, this will be my signature. And it was like, nobody wants to co-sign on that. No. Oh, it was your signature. Nobody told that him. nobody wanted. It's just something he probably did. Nobody told him. Because, you know, in TV, you can't really see that kind of thing. Yeah. I got to backtrack, though. I got to backtrack and, and, and say. You got to backtrack? Back, back. No, see, <laughs> no, see it's, it's too much Mr. Freeze. See, I know there it is. It's spreading. Mm-hmm. It's, now you, you got it too. The shit was good though. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> I didn't mean to put you on like that, man. Yeah, put you on I, like that. I should have never done this to you. I'm sorry. Hey, we buy turkey. <laughs> <laughs> but I got, I got, I got to backtrack and talk about Arnold Schwarzenegger because they, you know we were making fun of the puns. <laughs> kind of made my head. <laughs> You want this? But, you know, I talk bad about him, talk bad about his puns, you know, made fun of him. But I did say he was having a good time. And the thing that I say about that is that the reason why I can enjoy Arnold Schwarzenegger so much is because, like, in a movie like this, say what you will. He's over the top. Yeah, his dialogue is terrible. He's overacting. <laughs> but he's consistent mm. through yeah. the whole movie. He That's is, true. He is complete. That's true. Yeah, he is... <laughs> It, it might be look it might be a crazy character it might be an overacting performance you know the dialogue might be terrible but he keeps that same tone to the whole movie so he is a, they, it is it, one thing you can say it is that character especially when you compare it to Uma Thurman as Poison Ivy and Alicia Silverstone, Lisa, Lisa Silverstone as Batgirl for some weird reason you know after watching them I started to appreciate Arnold in this movie <laughs> A lot more. <laughs> and that is something that we'll get to when we do part two of this. As Electric I say, Boogaloo. Electric Boogie Loo, people. Hey, everyone, support our Patreon, which helps us to continue bringing you our live streams, videos, and podcasts while bringing you new content such as exclusive live streams and animated shorts. 